Oh, oh, hoodie, hoodie, stop right there for one moment, please. Uh, this is a fascinating story, and pardon my interruption, but I seem to be out of beer. I need to get another bottle of beer, and also use the little boys' room. What was that up there? The second floor? Uh, never mind, hoodie. Anyway, uh, fascinating story, my lad. I didn't realize that you were an orphan, and that mages had such a difficult time of things as youngsters, not uh, having any skills of worth with a sword or a bow. It's just... It's unfathomable to me, being, you know, a squire and then a knight and, and then a king. But, uh, <clears throat> well, this story's not about me now, is it? So, okay, I shall let you continue here momentarily. Let me get my beer. Oh, Tony, excellent work, man. You read my mind. Okay, here you go. Here's the empty. You missed. It's behind you. Turn around, Tony. Turn around. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's get back on with the story here. Okay, um, Hoodie, whenever you're ready, you may continue narrating your fable. Ah, yes, thank you, my lord. I shall now continue narrating my story just a bit after where I had left off and was uh, interrupted by uh, <clears throat> uh, your majesty. Uh, I had just moved into the mage tower for the knights, you see. And uh, here, let me cast my, my memory projection spell. Is everyone paying attention here? <clears throat> Everyone? Okay. I shall now cast my memory projection spell, and you should see in your mind's eye exactly what I did at the time. So here we go. I should be coming into focus, standing at the top of the tower. Okay, I should be coming into focus now in your mind's eye. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? I'm standing at the top of a tower. Oh, good. Excellent. Yes. This is indeed the mage tower ruin that I had found just outside of my home village, which you can also see there behind me in the background. That is a uh, Pine Grove Valley Village. That's where I grew up as a, uh, well, as an orphan, as the king had so uh, unabashedly pointed out just moments ago. <clears throat> anyway, so here we are, standing at the top of the tower. I had moved in all of my worldly possessions here, including the arcane empowerment table that I had crafted just the day before. And in my hands, you can see the, uh, the rats that I had slain so bravely uh, the night before, have been cooked. And I do believe this is about when I ate one for breakfast. My very first rat, in fact. There I go, yes. I remember that. And I think I had exclaimed something to the effect of, It's a stringy, but <laughs> tastes like chicken. Um, <clears throat> ow. And that is my uh, teenage mage voice, in fact, that I will refrain from using too often because, uh, frankly, it hurts. This is about when I looked in my chest of goodies for ingredients to make an inscription table. Because I knew, in order to become a mighty wizard, the next step after the arcane empowerment table was an inscription table, and I had most of the ingredients, but not everything. I have a feather here, which I need. I have some planks. I have a torch, uh, but I need... I needed spell parchment, which means I needed paper. And that's about when I decided to leave the tower. Oh, you know what? I also remember getting a message from Henry the hedge mage next door. And I think that's where I went next because he said he had urgent news for me. So I went out the mage tower carefully and made my way through the dark pine forest to the town. And that's when I saw a zombie carrying string who promptly burned up in the sun. And I took his stuff and carried on my trek across the dark wood. All the pigs were out that morning, I recall. And some wild wolves, and crickets, and cows. It was a lovely day, and I finally i had made it to town, and there was quite the congregation outside. All the villagers were milling about. Something was up. Oh, and there I saw Henry, the hedge mage, he was standing under the pine tree and ran into the crowd. <clears throat> I guess whatever he had to tell me at the time wasn't very private. So I approached Henry and asked... Oh, uh, <clears throat> I got your message, Henry. Um, what's up? And then he said to me, and I will try to use my best Henry voice if I recall exactly... Whoa, and then he disappeared. Um, how he spoke at the time. There he is. He does some teleporty thing. <clears throat> and he said to me, Oh, Hoodie, so nice to see you, lad. I'm glad that you're okay. I would have thought by now you've been eaten by some foul beastie or turned into a newt by the witches that live there in the dark forest. 
uh, you're not a newt, are you? And, uh, to which I replied, uh, do I look like a newt, Henry? Of course I'm not a newt, and I did see the witches, but, uh, I frightened them off. And he, uh, <clears throat> and he said, uh, he, yeah, right. Anyway, stop looking at my nose, I'm sorry, that is a, uh, it's a nervous twitch I have, and, uh, it makes me self-conscious when you stare at it like that. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, hoodie. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, I forgot to tell you that, um... That mage tower over there, your parents lived there, you see, during the mage wars for a little time. And they said, if we ever have a son or a daughter and they come looking, uh, can you tell them there's something hidden in the basement that uh, they may want might help them on their endeavors to become the mightiest uh, wizard in the world? And how, how's that going for you? Anyway, by the way, hoodie. <laughs> uh, anywho. And to which I replied, uh, you don't seem very supportive of my endeavors to become the Mightiest Wizard. Um, it's just the vibe I get. Uh, well, thanks for the tip, anyway. And that's when I left town and decided to go back to the Mage Tower and find out what the heck Henry was talking about. So, apparently there's something in the basement my parents had left for me. It was news to me that my parents had lived in that Mage Tower. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed, and that's when I stopped at the pond and picked up a little bit of sugar cane to make some paper for the inscription table. Because I needed some to make the spell parchment, right? Right. Sometimes I do things in my memories here that I don't remember exactly what I was doing, so I tried to interpret that. Oh, and that's when I met a family of goats. But, uh, I am not King Punchwood, and I don't, I'm not very fond of goats, you see. So then I made it into the inside of the tower, and I looked down at the basement. And sure enough, there was a lot of dirt. And I started digging. And I found a torch! I remember now. There was a torch, and... And... Redstone lamps. I had never seen a redstone lamp before, but there's some sort of magic lamp. I had heard about them. And this is... I remember being shot. And, um... Kind of excited that maybe there's something down here for me. Maybe Henry isn't full of baloney. And he's not just trolling me. And there's something here. Well, I'll be... So I continued digging as the goats and the chickens and the animals fought and um, scampered around up above and came into my tower while I was in the basement working. More! More redstone lamps. So, interesting that my parents lived here during the mage, the mage wars. Of course, apparently I wasn't born at that time, according to Henry. But they had anticipated having a child someday. And let him know. And that's about when my shovel broke. And I was getting a little annoyed by animals coming into my tower. So I went, oh, oh it was the goats. They came inside and I thought, I really need to do something with those doors. You're great. And the, um, the gray goat agreed, nodding very enthusiast enthusiastically. So up to the top of the tower, I did go to make another, oh, okay, to make another, um, shovel or two. In fact, I think I made, oh, that's when I realized I didn't have a lot of wood. So I made one. Okay. And while I was up there, I do believe I made some paper. And my inscription table. Now, let's see. Mum taught me how to make an inscription. Oh, no, I need more wood. Uh, Mum taught me how to make an inscription table. Back when I lived with her in the hidey hole, hiding from the dark mages. And I do remember, but I, 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 need, I need more wood. Excuse me, goat. And I'll get back to digging. I think I did get back to the digging shortly thereafter. But I really wanted that inscription table. So I went and chopped down a pine tree. I chose a small one. I was quite good with an axe. As you can see here in your mind's eye. My memory. 
and I, of course, always replanted trees, being very environmentally conscious about such things. And now I had plenty of wood, and the goats appeared to be eating the moss off the mage, mage tower floor. And once again, the gray goat was nodding enthusiastically. I was worried his head might fall off. Hey, buddy! <clears throat> oh, wait, that's not... I, I use my mage voice. I think I... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Grey Goat. You might want to go see a doctor for that. And he laughed and laughed. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> and he laughed and laughed. And he continued shaking his head. Everyone around these parts seems to have some sort of nervous twitch. Must be something in the water. Okay, now I decided to go back up and work on this inscription table before it got dark again so I could defend myself properly. And I didn't like Henry laughing at me. Henry. Henry. The man that brought me up. Taught me some things. <sighs> he has he had no faith, apparently. Oops. Okay, so now I made my inscription table. Which looked something like this. Oh wait, no. Ah! I knew you couldn't do it. <laughs> First, I remembered that I had to make a scroll. Yes, or rather a spell parchment. And that is how you make a spell parchment. And then I proceeded to craft my inscription table. And this is where I'll be able to make spells. And my lone feather in the corner. <gasps> and there it is. You should see my memory as I yank that sucker out of that crafting table and I was full of joy and hopped a bit. And then I carried it downstairs. I decided I was going to put it downstairs in this new mage room here. Whatever the heck this is down here. And I, at first I thought that doesn't really make any sense. But the gray goat agreed. And, in, and then a bunny came inside the mage tower and and I um, said I went back downstairs. I was a little confused. Many animals. Um, and I continued digging. Aha. Continue digging all the dirt in this chamber. And unfortunately, there was nothing in this particular room. But it's a lot less busy than... The upper stairs, the upper floors, and that's why I decided to put the inscription table down here. And oh, that's about when I f had murderous intent as I climbed the ladder to go kill them stupid goats. And that's when I saw a chicken. A chicken head climbed inside as well. Uh, g goats. <clears throat> uh, goats. Uh, take it outside, all right? No roughhousing inside the mage tower, if you don't mind. I see that your nervous twitch is gone. That's excellent. Um, now, where was I? And then a fight broke out. So, inscription table. And I put down the inscription table somewhere that I didn't like. So, I wanted to get it in the corner somehow. Uh, there we go. Look at that. My first inscription table. Oh! And that's when I opened it up and looked inside and could clearly see my spells just awaiting to be crafted. The recipes that I had known about this time taught to me by um, actually Henry. He's not so bad. Firebolt. True Sight, which is the one I found here in the Mage Tower, actually. Oh, dig! Hey, that could come in handy down here. And Sense Energy. And then I realized that I needed many ingredients in order to do this. I have to make another Spell Parchment, as well as Runes. And I happen to have Spell Vestus Rune. I just have to make a scroll. Right! So this is when I decided... crafting table right down here. We're going to move into this little basement room and spell parchment, which is that. Quite simple. 
<gasps> and I remember being so excited for this moment. So excited indeed. And I put in the proper ingredients in the inscription table. And huzzah! Firebolt. Creo Ignis, I said. <clears throat> and I took that right out of there and put it in my hands. And my hands was a burning. And I think I exclaimed, Great balls of fire. And I went outside to test it. Uh, oh, and there was a chicken. And that was perfect. That was perfect. Now, it killed him and cooked the meat. How cool is that? And there was a pig heading up to my mage tower. He was sieging my tower. So I raced up to get him. And I shot him with my new firebolt. Down. Fine, down. What do you think about that? Now, of course, a pig has a purpose in life, and that is to feed mages that are hungry. So don't feel too badly about this. And I might get some cooked pork. And fortunately, my mage tower was mostly made of stone. And didn't burn down as I was practicing. I heard a howl outside my mage tower. And then I killed another chicken. Now, how is this... I remember wondering about how much mana this fireball used. And I realized that... Oh, dear. That a spider was coming in. And it was poisonous. And I ran upstairs. Being very afraid. Because that sounds like a werewolf. Now, as a uh, curious and brave lad with his newfound magical powers, I remember thinking that I'm invincible and decided to go cast a little Creo Ignis on, on a werewolf. So I went outside. May have not been the wisest choice. But there he is. And, and then he chased me in... And I ran because I decided that if my fire can barely kill a chicken, it's not going to kill this guy. Yeah. So I remember running. Yes, this still frightens me to this day. I remember this so vividly. Oh, and then I was attacked by a rat from above. And I decided just to use my sword on him because I couldn't cast for some reason. I remember now that I had to hold down. Hold down. I really had to concentrate. What's this hold down you speak of? Yes, concentrate, aim, and shoot. And I really must do something about those doors. Now, I remember Henry the Hedge Wizard telling me that your spells become more powerful as you, as a mage, become more powerful. Now, that's got to burn there, my friend. Oh, no. He's getting, he's coming up. And then the werewolf was burning, but not dying. Much to my chagrin. And those doors are going to drive me up a wall. Yes! And the werewolf burned quite conveniently with all that fur. But he was tougher than he looked. And oh, it's a witch! Oh, and I ran. A witch came in to turn me into a newt, so I bolted. Up the top of the tower. Huh. Here she comes. Oh, and she is actually, I believe, she is fire resistant. So I ran and I decided to just hit her with a sword. And oh, she just kept hitting and hitting. And uh, I slew her mercilessly. Ah, uh, victory is mine. I exclaimed to no one in particular. And I was poisoned for a while and scared, but... The poison didn't kill me. And that's when I remembered I should probably make a magical bed and sleep in it. So that if I die, I can come back here in this location. And I needed wool for that. Oh, oh, but I do have enough. Okay, yes, that is exactly... I am so smart. I was so smart as a young lad. Always thinking. And I made my bed. And I put it down. Where did I put it down? I put it right down by the window. And I slept before the sun rose. Just in time. <sighs> and I was definitely on my... Oh, 
way to become a powerful wizard. Oh, my, um, he's still burning out there, isn't he? I thought that was a werewolf burning. And so, uh, I decided that I was going to go down to the basement and dig some more to look for this secret treasure. But first, I did a little organizing. Do I have any old wooden tools? That ought to do it. So, I need more of these runes, which means I need dyes to color them. So, we're going to go back down. Oh, I've got lots of stakes too, don't I? Let's get rid of that rat. Let's put one of these in here. Actually, two. And anyway, I spent a little time doing some cooking and organizing. And you probably don't want to see all that. But, let's go down the mage tower. This is what I did now, and I went to see if I had actually killed the wolf, but no. And all was quiet down there. Except for the doors. And that's when I decided I must make buttons for these doors and get rid of the pressure plates. And whoever designed this thing ought to be shot. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? All right, eight. That's good. Um, I might as well do that now. Actually, uh, why did I make eight? I only need four. One, two, three, four. We only need four for the doors. That's good enough. Long as I can make it to that button while being chased, I thought I shall be fine. dangerous place. So I spent a little time securing my tower before heading back down into the basement. You know, I might as well put buttons on all the doors. I remember thinking that if I happen to be on that side and I want to get in quickly might be a wise idea. Okay, let's see. All the pressure plates had been removed, and I was quite excited about that. Back down into the basement. Now let's keep digging. And so, after much digging and mining, my hands bloody and raw and blistered, I found something buried beneath the mage tower. Bookshelves. And I continue to dig with much speed at this point, being very excited to see more of what was down here. But uh, hold on a second. I, I uh, Looks like the king needs to go to the bathroom. Um, I shall continue narrating here shortly. Stay tuned for more. Be right back. The bats. Oh, no. All right, it's a venomous kind. All right, let's do this, then. Let's do this, then. How do we... I just push it. There's got to be some kind of activator rail. Oh, no, it's not going to... Oh, no, there's the activator rail! No! No, 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 no! Go, 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 go! Oh, that was cool. Uh, except that it didn't work completely. 